Presenting a united front against a president they say is illegitimate. Four political parties are warning Kais Saeed that he must backtrack on his decision to seize executive power. The president has taken everything. He has cancelled everything. Even the institution for sorting out these problems, like fighting corruption. All these entities have been closed by the president. There's no parliament. There's no committee for overseeing laws. There's no government. Demonstrations have already been held against President Saeed, who last week announced he'd rule by decree and ignore parts of the Constitution. That's after he sacked the Prime Minister and suspended Parliament in July. On Monday, Tunisia's Foreign Minister told the UN General Assembly that the President was acting with the will of the people. The dangerous situation threatening our country and community is attributed to a deeply rooted political polarization and a socio-economic and health crisis. This is why the President of the Republic had to interfere and take a series of exceptional resolutions and measures based on our Constitution to put the country back on the right path towards democracy. The largest political party, ANADA, says the President should call elections to prove he has a mandate. Why should one person say that he can embody the will of the people? So if he is with the, with the will of the people, if he is expressing the will of the people, he has the authority to call for elections and let the people decide. Local and international human rights groups are warning of a slide towards authoritarianism. While the developments in July were broadly popular, two months on, people are growing frustrated by what they see as a lack of progress. Analysts say that could work in the new coalition's favour. With the deep economic crisis that we are going to see the effects uh, of it in the upcoming weeks and months, they could seize maybe the opportunity to show that, unfortunately, even by a power grab, even by um, uh, uh, gathering all the powers, President Said is unable to fight the real crisis of the Tunisians that are social problems, economy, etc. In the two months since Kais Saeed seized power, political parties and civil society groups here say the president hasn't approached any of them. Now they say they're reminding him again that they're here and that he should talk to them and listen. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Tunis.